What do employers want from their students? An employer wants somebody who has a core specialization and then interdisciplinary skills. We're now one of the only places in the United States where a student can come and study in a single college under a single dean with an integrated team of professors where they can combine information technology, business, entrepreneurship, art, creativity, and design in their own curriculum. So a student can come here and they can study interior design and do a minor in marketing. Or they can come here and do major in business, do a minor in cybersecurity or data science or fashion merchandising. That's just not something you generally get when you go to a, another university. There is a huge demand today for people with technology skills, especially in cybersecurity. About a third of all the cybersecurity jobs remain open. Very much in need position, very well paid, and most importantly, it's a field where you are going to learn and grow and develop because technology is constantly changing. It's an exciting field because you are protecting the nation, you're protecting your parents' healthcare records, you're part of a community of people who are helping to use the technology correctly in today's digital world. Within the School of Business, we've made some dramatic innovations to both undergraduate programs, master's level programs, and probably the most exciting thing is we're offering our first ever doctorate program, a DBA in Business Intelligence, this coming fall. We also now have eight areas where you can do an MBA in. So imagine doing an MBA in talent management, or indeed an MBA in hospitality innovation, or an MBA in healthcare management. Actually, two of our MBAs in relate to technology. So imagine doing an MBA in business IT or business analytics. We have all of those things to give you both the breadth of understanding of business, but also depth of understanding in an area where you want to be more of an expert. Careers in any design field are going to be incredibly important as we emerge from this pandemic. Many companies are having to pivot and to pivot requires creativity and problem solving. So our, our students are prepared to engage questions and solve problems that, that are not in textbooks because of the way we run our design studios. And that makes them incredibly valuable to companies as we try and reboot and pivot and reimagine what we can be. Our fashion design program has, has always been incredibly successful here in the DC metro area. The Portfolio in Motion event is an annual event that celebrates the work of our fashion students from, from first year all the way up through seniors and is, is well regarded in the region as, as the event to attend uh, at the end of each, each academic year. We're the only university in the region that's a majority minority institution. We're diverse not because we talk about diversity, we are diverse. Half our students are women. 42% of our students are people of color. More than 25% are Hispanic. If you come to Marymount, you're part of a worldwide community of people that are used to and expect diversity and equity as a matter of how they approach life. And employers need that now more than ever and they love it. We have many students who go on to work in the government, military, but also we have some major technology corporations here. The biggest being Amazon, which opened its second headquarters here in Arlington, Ernst & Young, Booz Allen, uh, Deloitte, all these major consulting companies are always here at Marymount looking for talent. We recently signed a deal with Netflix and a education provider called 2U. We're the only university in this marketplace that they partnered with. The idea behind the deal 
is to give our students exposure to the kind of skills you need to be able to work at a Netflix or a Google or a Facebook and then get hired out of these programs. We want to meet people where they are and take them to where they need to be with one-on-one -on -one work, with smaller classes, lots of personal attention, and all the resources of the greater Washington area. We think we're pretty powerfully positioned to do that and do that well.